Welcome, and on this video we're doing a product review for the Ibo robot by Sony. So if you want to see how this little domestic dog-like robot has been entertaining their owners, then please stay tuned. Right, Abo walkies! Yeah! Hi guys, I'm Philip English from RoboField.com. Now on this video we're looking at the Sony Ibo Robot Pet. The word Ibo comes from Artificial Intelligence Robot and is also the Japanese word for companion or friend. They were first introduced in 1999 and were the first consumer robot of its kind to be offered to the public. The Ibo is able to develop from a newborn puppy to an adult with a personality shaped by the interaction with their owners and surroundings. The original Ibo model presented to the public was ready by May 1999. An initial 5000 ERS-110 models were put on sale in Japan and the US. The response was overwhelming and 3,000 robots were sold in under 20 minutes in Japan along with another 2,000 over 4 days in the US. The European launch took place on the 26th of October 1999 and at this event the Sony announced a new special edition model, ERS 111, for targeting Europe, Japan and the US. This time 10,000 models were put on sale for a period of one week. Once again all expectations were crushed. During the single week Sony recorded 135,000 orders. The main reason behind offering such limited numbers was to keep a close contact with customers to favour feedback and help further develop the performance of the iBo. For the initial iBo ERS 110, the hardware included a 64-bit RISC processor, 16 megabytes of RAM, the sensors included touch, camera, rangefinder, microphones, acceleration, angle of velocity, it also included a speaker and actuators for the legs, neck, mouth and tail. As the series developed, more sensors and actuators were added. Wi-Fi was available as an add-on for some second generation IBOs. The third and final family of IBOs, the ERS-7s, have multiple head and body sensors, clicking ear actuators, a chest mounted proxy sensor, expressive Lumi face and Wi-Fi. All iBos were bundled with accessories including a charging station and a pink ball toy. Later models of the ERS-7s were bundled with a pink all bone shaped toy, playing cards and a charging station with pole and marker mat for autonomous docking. So to run through the models, the Sony iBo ERS-110 started in 1999 and it finished in 2001. This was the beginning. The first commercial iBo with a beagle-like appearance Ibo is capable of four-legged locomotion and can also perform other complex movements using its mouth, tail and head. Ibo incorporates various sensors and autonomous programs that enable it to behave like a living creature, reacting to external stimuli and acting on its own judgement. So jumping into the second one, which is the Sony Ibo ERS-210. This went on sale from the year 2001 to the year 2003 and is the highest selling Ibo. A follow on from the sale of the first ever autonomous entertainment robot, the ERS-110, Sony now introduced the second generation, the ERS-210. It has a greater ability to express emotion for more intimate communication with people. The new iBo has an additional movement in both ears and an increased number of LEDs, face times 4 and tail times 2. It also has touch sensors in the head, chin and back which means that it can show an abundant array of emotions such as joy, yay, and anger. In order to increase interaction with people, the ERS-210 series most distinctive feature is its autonomous robot technology that allows iBo to learn and mature has been enhanced. It will now include features frequently requested by iBo owners such as name dog recording function, so recognising its own name, voice recognition, so recognising simple words, and photo taking. We then had the ERS-311 LAT and the ERS-312 Macaroon. This was from the year 2001 to 2003. The IBO ERS-311 or LAT was introduced on September 22nd, 2001. The LAT is a cheaper version of the IBO and does not have wireless capabilities. The 311 is also referred to as the LM series robot. The 311 is only available in white. The sensors are the tail and the movement of the iBo's head up for scolding and down for praise. 
The light on top of the Ibo's head is for interpreting his or her mood. There are also sensors on each port. The Ibo's ERS-312, the Macaroon, was released a year after the original ERS-311, which was then available in black in 2001. And the last one is the Sony Ibo ERS-7, year 2001 to 2005, the sophisticated one. Extraordinarily skillful, Ibo is able to connect wirelessly with other electronic devices, transferring photos, sound files and messages. Through sharing your memories, learning your likes, getting to know your environment, it will come in every way a truly unique individual. Entertaining and comforting you when you're glad, sad or angry, reflecting a wide range of emotions through its lively LED illuminated face, Ibo will become in fact your best friend. With its smooth allure and wit, Ibo will easily become a great companion and entertainer. Throw a bone and it will fetch it for you, the same with a ball, Ibo will gladly play with it. Tell your Ibo what you wanted to do, either by your voice or by using the convenient instruction cards. Ibo, come back, come back. It's time to go home. Time to go home. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed the overview of the Ibo robot by Sony. Now if you like this product review and want to see even more robot reviews, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put links relating to these videos as well as other information about the Ibo robot. If you have any questions or want to see a product review of a particular robot, then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.